everybody, it's your girl Tina and I'm back up in the building with another video. So today, you can tell from the title that I am going to be doing some small knotless braids. So, um, I've wanted to try a new color, y'all. So, this is the color that I will be applying today. Yay, it's in this long, y'all. So, hopefully it looks good on my little complexion or whatever, like... I always do black or I do like whatever color this is. This, this color is like a 30, I believe, and um, like a red. I always do those colors. But I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone a little bit. Like, want to do my hair for school or whatever. And when I do my hair for school, which is work, y'all. I ain't just talk about like other school. But like when I try to do my hair for work or whatever, like, you know, I try to do something to where it, where I don't have to constantly keep getting up in the morning trying to do it early because when with my natural hair oh my god it takes all day and i have somewhere to go also so i'm gonna do these knowledge braids and i'm gonna let y'all see or whatever my little process every now and again so once i get started and i part everything i will get right back to you guys okay let's start this video all right, so now, you guys, what I'm going to be doing now is I'm just taking the hair and I'm about to separate it and put it on the rack. And what I want to do, I want to, since I want to do them small, I'm going to try to do a little bit of hair at a time. But my hair is so thick and I just hate it. Well, I like it, but I hate it <laughs> at the same time. So all I'm doing is just taking like a little bit of hair. For my uh, feed ins, I'm just try to do a little bit. I think I probably did them a little too big, but I'm gonna try to do a little bit, okay? And I try to do the whole rack like that, so I don't have to keep stopping, cause that's the part that takes the longest when you're trying to separate the hair and put it on the rack. So I'm going to just go in and finish this and I'll show you guys how it looks once I finish. Alright you guys, so this is how it's looking. So I have everything put on a rack right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm about to just go ahead on, start parting my hair and I'm about to get started. And hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the first braid look a little decent. If I don't like how it look on my skin... I'm gonna have to try again with the black. <laughs> All right, so I got the bag doing y'all. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let y'all see how long they are. All right, so, so this is the bag. started at 10 o'clock it is 4 48 so i was able to get the back done normally the top don't normally take too long but i'll let y'all see when i get like to the top or whatever and then i'll come back and i'll show you guys how we looking or whatever but as of now it's okay like you know different color but i guess it'll go on me or whatever once i put some clothes on and do some stuff or whatever but this is what we looking like right now so i'll show you guys once i get to the top okay all right so as y'all can see i got all this done in the back so i only have one two three four rows left in the front and oh this, this took all day yo all day all night y'all see i still got the same thing on because i took a bath last night i started around 10 o'clock i stopped at 5 a.m i had did the whole back and then 
I went and took me a nap. Got back up. But I went to sleep. And I got up around 11, 12. And I started doing my hair. So, while I'm on this side, I can show you guys how I do my knotless braids. So, I've been using this braids gel. I've been using this. I'll put it in the description below. But, yeah. Try to get that clean part first. And just like the other side, I have two. Like, I try to do the same amount on both sides for the face, because I don't be liking it when I have uh, different looks on both sides. So, the part that takes the longest is the part, and y'all, I swear. That take the longest. Look, that gonna be straight enough right here. First, I just comb my hair, and no, I did not blow my hair out. I don't like to keep blowing, blow drying my hair and stuff. I don't really like all that heat on my hair. And I just recently had braids in, so I try not to blow it out again. So what I do is, I can see, take that piece, and then I just take three strands. take three strands and then I do a braid and then I start feeding hair in. so my hair pieces I, I did them kind of small so like this big and I feed mine like I do braids overhand so I feed mine in overhand and then once I do one I go ahead and add another one Every time I make that turn to make the braid, I will do one and then I just feed in another piece of hair to where it's on all three strands of hair. So once I do that, and since this, these are small right here on the side, I just add another piece in. And then I just start breathing it down. And I'm sorry if my voice dragging. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm tired. Can't wait to finish. And I just keep braiding down until I feel like hair is thin in a certain area. Once it's start getting thin, I'll probably feed in another piece towards the bottom so it can be long. And so just like what you see my curly hair, I just take some more of that braid stuff and put on it so it could blend in with the hair. Let's see, braid. Now about right here, I'm gonna add another piece in. all the way down and like what I like to do I like to measure that braid with the other side to make sure the hair is long enough on both sides and it is the same length so I'm gonna just keep 
breathing out. Keep breathing out. I know my lip greasy though. Excuse it. So that's it. And you can just watch me do this next one. And then after this, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest. And then I'll let you guys see the end result once everything is completed. Okay, you guys, so I am all done. All done. Now I have to go and dip it, but I'm showing you guys the parting. It actually came out really nice, like, I did them kind of small because I want them to last long. But they actually came out nice. So, this color, like I told you guys, uh, it was a, uh, it was by uh, some expression hair. And it was the 2730-613 by expression. And it really came out really nice. Can't wait to style it. But I'm about to go dip it, put my mousse on. And then when I take a nice picture, I add it to the end of this video. So I thank you guys so much for watching my videos. If you haven't subscribed yet to the channel, go on and subscribe. Also like this video. Also leave me some comments down below to let me know what you would like to see next. So yeah. That's it. Signing out. I'll talk to you guys on the next video.